Hello, mobsters, and welcome back to the Movies Archives. This is your host, Movies Rex, and we are playing The Outer Worlds. So we just found this ship last time. I was dickering about for a little bit. Got lockers. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Uh, I forgot what... what? Hello. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. Hi. I'm tracking your every move. Okay, so I just stole stuff, didn't I? Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Hi. Marauder. I am Ada. Hello, Ada. digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Well, I've been destroyed a few times already. I'm not really here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Please engage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all foreign parties in five, four, three, two, one. Um, is something supposed to be happening? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Me too. Is this Hawthornship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Is that your deception protocol again? Um... Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. You're welcome. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yes, that's me. I am Captain Pre Hawthorne. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay. So, um... I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement Falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. Looks like I got a walk to do. Power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. All right. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne. Pre Hawthorne. The registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Um. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best and I appreciate yours, Ada. For a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I wonder how many Alex Hawthorns. I wonder how many Alex Hawthorns there's been. Congratulations, you've been promoted! You have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. I wonder if there's a level cap. Anti-Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend improving all your skills. Spending a skill point on its core skill, like melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills, up to 100. Every skill point improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and skills passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill of unlocks. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. All right, so we got skills. Uh, oh, perks. Welcome to perk selection. On the screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. 
you get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the best the next tier available to you. And he wants you to be her best. To be your best to help her be the very best. Alright, so we do have a perk. Let's take a look at this first. Toughness. Slow the world. Tactical time dilation looks last normal. Longer. Sorry. Durability. Companion. I'm looking for something that's going to be... Oh, here we go. Negotiator. All right. So I'm thinking our first two. And this is going to be thematic. Um, we're going to get better vendor prices. And the next one we're going to get is a few bits more. Uh, which is going to give us additional ammo stock on vendors and additional consumer stock on vendors. So that works. Apply that. Yes. Now skills, on the other hand. So I think I'm going to toss five in ranged. And we're going to put more into dialogue. Uh, we're not doing leadership yet. Uh, because we don't have companions, and this seems to be mostly companion stuff. Alright, apply that. Accept. Time dilation location hits. You have unlocked location... Oh, hits. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD. Mames or crepusos body parts. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hit to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Urgh. Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked a combat dialogue skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. I don't know what that means. Okay, so after we kill creatures, they might flee. Um, auto mechanicals will slowly attack enemies other than you. And humans will cower in fear. I like that. Alright, um... Ada. What can I do for you, Captain? I'll be back. All right, let's take a look around our ship. So we did... I did notice. I guess we could pick these locks now. Um, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal. Activities are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage those activities without consequences. Am I going to be charged for landing here the moment I walk out? Because I have this, this uh, Captain Chit now. Is that on me? What's this? Did I miss this? Huh. Rifle. I'm gonna stick to the handgun, actually. Okay, so we can fast travel to the landing site. We don't really know much else. Um, I guess we came up some path over this way. Uh, looks like there's a little thing here. We saw some debris over here. Not this screen. Hi, Ada. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Creepy. Anything if your else? equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Sounds good. The workbench will let you repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons. Okay, so... Let's install a mod. I have no mods. Well, that's fine. No mods for that. Do you have a mod? You take that. Uh, you don't just leave mods around, do you? Uh, nothing. I have no mods, so how can I install mods? Picked a bunch of weapons, most of which I'm not going to use. Come up, because I'm a pistolier. Stuff back here. Hey, better view. I don't like the sparky bits. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Hmm. Huh. Requires paddle alloy. If you a power regulator, please insert the part into the appropriate slot, which is this one. Right. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Eh, I don't feel like respecting right now. I'm okay. Oh, there's a way up here. Is 
that an elevator? Sealed? Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Hmm. I like this place. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. All right. Well, there's nothing else on this ship. Can I leave stuff? Kind of want to leave stuff. Like my captain's ID badge. Oh, well. So. This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. You've got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. All right. Let's see. What's this area back here? Just gonna check our weaponry. I don't think we're gonna use this. Or the shovel. Shovel needs repair. Wait, one of my weapon or armor items is broken? Oh. Keeping your company in the can repair arpins and armor and weapons at a web workbench. The witch. Oh, your condition five. Okay, let's learn the repair mechanic. Gotta inspect this ship again. Hold on. Forgot something. Alright. Um, use. Inspect. Okay, we know this is broken, so how do I repair it? Oh, here we go. There's a repair thingy. We can prepare armor or weapons. So we can repair... I need 18 weapon parts. So I could probably break down... Ah, break down. Let's uh, break down this. Get three weapon parts from that. And break down this light pistol. And then we could break down... One of these and one of these, which will give us armor parts. Yeah, do this helmet as well. And yeah, do this gear. That's fine. Then we can repair you if we really want to. Go ahead. Repair it. Yeah, that's it. So you're fixed. I thought I'd use you. Huh. What's this? Oh, hold on. Is that a worm? Bam off. Level 3. Monstrous primal devastating N-ray ground slam that concusses enemies but is vulnerable afterwards. Exhibits unusually bold behaviors. Right, there was a meme. Huh. Go ahead and maim. Oopsie. Low damage weapons are in effects against heavy armor. Yeah, let's, um... I pissed them off. I might need to use this. Um... Uh, 
Hey, uh, Lieutenant? Cost some stuff. Oh, hey, they went away. Eh. Perfect. Shoot and run away. Saves the day. I think. All right, I don't think we're ready to deal with those guys yet. We just stole the shovel from up there before. Looks like another, there's a path going up this way. I'm not one to actually follow... I'm not one to follow, um... Well, guides very well. I like going off the beaten path. I like my open world games to be open world. Oh. You're a marauder. Hi. You know what would be funny? I get close to you and then shoot you with a shotgun. In the back of the head. Oh, that's not the gun I thought it was. Yeah, I see you. You're shooting me. Oh, that's it for that weapon. That's my shotgun. Come on. And... Can I maim? Cripple. Is that it? Is that everybody? Oh, no one else noticed me. Might as well be everybody. Take everything. They've got an assault rifle. This is the same one as I have. Where'd the other guy go? Is that you? Oh yeah. I have a Spaces Choice one and one of these ones now. All right. Uh, do I have... So you take Heavy. And you take Light. Now if I only remember which button's which. Remember, my person only heals with meds or chems. So I had to watch that health bar. There's no passive healing for me. So this is a Marauder's Camp. Marauders don't, well, look out that well. Candid. Line the lookout. They apparently reload. Cripple. Yep. Oh! This is not going to go well for me. Ah! Uh. Oh, hey. That's different. Or I didn't see that before. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to take stuff. Okay, there's a guy there. This one's a shotgun, I think. I don't like this weapon. There is a bounty on these guys that I'm missing out on.
That seems better. And well, ooh, trip blade. Wasn't using it. What's that? Trip blade. Spacer's choice. Looks fun. Won't be using it. That's an assault rifle. TNL. More damage than that one. Sounds good. Okay, they have a lookout, a vandal. There's a tamed candid. Let's scout this way. Just looks like there's only a few of them. Okay, let's use this new weapon. Blind, cripple, maim, weaken, stagger, cripple. Okay, let's, uh, well, there's another one behind, back here. A goon. Close range attacker. Uh, Vandal uses guns. Okay, let's just... Wait a second, let our stuff cool down. And there's you, Tamed Candid. That's gonna cause us problems. Yep. Take down the goon. Where are you? Okay, candid's down. Where are they? Oh, more of you! Shoot! Just waiting. And heal up. Mmm, that candid meat. You didn't have any? Yeah. Uh, sentry saber. Didn't I have one of those? I have identical one. Alright, I think this camp is cleared. Take that light pistol. I think that's identical to what... I've been using. What a heavy pistol. The heavier, the better. That's for me. Oh, hello. Ammo. Hacking and picking. Your hacking lockpick skills help to get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break in blocks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Alright. I'll pick. I don't know how many. Hmm. But stuff here is sellable. Like this impact helper. Bits. Like a necklace. Uh, that we can get toss ball card and a model spaceship. Hmm. I wonder if we could decorate our uh, ship. See, this is my problem. I always lose track of where I drop people. Some apples, spacers, chaw. Mock apple juice, weapon parts, That'll help. Yeah, my question is, do I want to continue going off plantation here? What was that? I think it was just some of this sparkly. If 
I have loot to this place. Adreno, light ammo, light ammo, heavy ammo. And more food, and more ammo. Another gun, cool. Can I sleep? Hmm. Okay, welcome to morning. I still can't find everybody I killed. But I guess that's that. So that's the Marauder Encampment. It looks like if we just continue this way, we reach the, uh, the village, the objective. Let's head up the hill and take a look at where we're supposed to be going. Is that someone up there? I thought I saw someone up here. No, it was a plant. Oh. There's something down there. Ravager level one. Hunter level one. This might be easier. It makes me wonder wh if we'll get quests. We'll probably get quests to kill from this stuff. Maybe we should just head to Edgewater. Alright, let's just head to Edgewater. See how this game mm, plays. I'm not remembering how to um, move properly. What is that? That's a body. A couple bodies. bodies that have nothing on them. No, already looted. So is that the primals? Or is that the ravagers? Or marauders? Okay, I don't like this. I definitely don't like this. Just one of them? Alright. Cripple. Cripple. Oh, yep, there's more of them. Uh, I'm exposed here. Ah, I'm stuck. Stuck. Excuse me, I'm stuck. Not that I think you care. You are approaching... Yeah, come to me. Come to me so you may be killed. That's... Blind you? Blind you. Blind you. But you're blind. How did you see me? Goons down and nothing. You had some cash. I have to get down here somehow. Alright, let's go the more direct approach. Assault rifle it is. You lost your head. And you two have nothing. Alright, well I guess this is the path to Edgewater. Glad I went off-road. In fact, I think I should continue off-road. See if I can climb the rocks here then. Nope. No such thing. No. I'm feeling like I'm going to be ambushed. Alright, it's taking me... Well, 
nearly three quarters of an hour to get to uh, Edgewater from the beginning of this episode. So that's the kind of gameplay I do. I want something that has like a better range lens so I can see these guys better. Hello? Uh, not an enemy. Mostly a friend, not a warlord. A couple of these towers sticking up all over the place. I don't know what they are. This looks like something. Whoa, hey. Oh. Where'd you come from? Hi. Graveyard. Running around in a marauder's attire. Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Hmm. Why do you say that? It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. They eat people? It ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Right. Thanks, Silas. I have never got your name. I'm Preed. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. <laughs> Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Junior in humor. Fancy title for Grave Digger. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. Oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. You seem pretty old to be a junior anything. The rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. Well, if you bury the marauders I kill, then yeah, that'll be pretty quick. Who do I talk to her about a power regu- Actually, I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. Got a knack for being discreet-like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Oh yeah, I can do Edgewater that. Edgewater is a company town, board-owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Hmm. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. And why can't you collect these fees yourself? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? Oh, yeah. Never mind that. Let me ask you about something else. Yeah? Do you lose a lot of people to Marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Huh. What are they after? Loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. Plague? But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Plague? Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Do I talk to her about a power regular? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Follow the road. Let me talk to you about something else. Yeah? If you've got a marauder problem, I can take care of it. Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. By the finger! Sounds great. Thanks for your time. Do you have any idea where they're coming from? Couldn't tell you. No, I mean, I'm contractually prohibited from saying anything that might reflect poorly on Spacer's choice. Uh, oh, okay. Ah, avoid it. Shouldn't have said that either. Look... Forget I said anything. All right. Thanks for your time. Edgewater. Oh, I've. Hold on. Uh, I guess this stuff is what looks bad on me. All right. Guard. Guard. Beats working at the cannery. Don't like the cannery, huh? Beats working at the cannery. I guess you don't. All right. Welcome to Edgerod. But, mobsters, that's about it for today. 
This has been Movies Rex for the Movies Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the episode, leave us a like. Leave us a comments and suggestions. We'll be back with you soon. Have a good day. And a wonderful night. Bye-bye.